The basis of any security system, whether we're talking about computer security or even physical security for that matter, is authentication. Let's take a look at some of the authentication terminology. First, authenticate. Authenticate is a verb. It means to verify, to prove. Now, the reason we want to prove your identity or who you are is because we link who you are to the resources you're attempting to gain access to. In other words, I protect my resources by limiting their access to specific individuals. This means it's very important that I have a method to prove that those individuals are who they say they are when they're actually attempting to gain access to those resources. Obviously, of course, we authenticate individuals. This is very commonly a username and a password or now possibly a biometric system taking your fingerprint or even using an ID card or a smart card. But increasingly, authentication also means resources in and of themselves. That means that while you may sit down at a computer and log on with a username and a password, your computer is also verifying that it truly represents you when it attempts to present your logon information to a server that actually stores your user account and password information. As a result, authentication encompasses individuals and resources and serves as the basis for controlling their access to resources. When I talk about access, we have to realize that access is controlled by linking individuals and their permissions to a specific resource. In other words, it's very rare that I just give you complete and total power over a specific resource. Usually, I tie a subset of permissions or capabilities to a resource and then link that to you as an individual or to your resources. Again, to reiterate, access relies on the authentication process. And we use what's called an access control list, essentially a list of entries of individuals or resources that are allowed to get access to a resource along with their specific permissions to that resource. Finally, the word account. What does it really mean to have an account on a system or on a network? Really, we're talking about a unique record in a database, something that just specifies you as an entity. Typically, we use a common name for this, but we also many times have a specific number or identifier. And again, the purpose of an account is to link your permissions or the permissions of a resource to an entity, whether it's a user or some other type of resource.